Hello, my name is Anita and this is my husband Darren. And we are loading up our two cats in a nine foot truck camper and heading out on the road full time and we are selling virtually everything we own. So this is my cat Sam. Sam, look over here. Say hi. Um, we, the purpose of this video is for us to document our journey um, as living as nomads in a camper with cats. We want to also share our journey with our family and friends uh, because this is going to be their way of seeing us and making sure we're okay um, and seeing that we're having fun and maybe getting to um, take part virtually with, uh, with us as we do some cool stuff. We also thought it would be a source of information for people who are interested in doing the same things that we're about to undertake. Uh, we really appreciated um, watching videos of people who are living as nomads, especially living as nomads with pets, because uh, we're, we want to make sure we do it right so our cats are relatively happy and healthy. We're just finishing the first week of April in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and we have had one of the coldest Aprils that I can remember. Um, you can see we still have a ton of snow and last week uh, we had to have inside recesses at our school because it was below minus 23 on multiple days. So that's minus 23 Celsius and it was horrible. Starting to warm up now. So Darren and I met five years ago online. Um, we both decided to try online dating and um, our common denominator I think was probably we both put down that we loved camping. Um, so we started dating and that was going well. We went camping a lot. We started up this little fantasy world where we talked about going and living off the land. And we told our parents and we all laughed because, you know, it would never happen. And suddenly, as we started watching things on YouTube and talking about it, suddenly it didn't seem like such a, of a joke. It seemed like maybe it was possible. Um, so uh, anyway, we kept camping. Um, we made fun of people who lived in a tent and suddenly, because maybe because we kept seeing it, uh, next thing you know, we were buying tents, or bought, bought a tent and back, backcountry backpacking gear and we started doing that, which has been really cool. So lots of long hikes and time outdoors has just been so wonderful for us. So a little while ago, um, we were sitting around one morning and we kind of made a decision that maybe in the next 18 months, we, I would leave my job, Darren's already left his job, um, and we would go live off the land, go live as nomads in our camper. Um, about three months ago, we decided maybe it needed to be sooner. We've uh, the reasons for that is my parent, my mom is doing really well. I lost my father uh, five years ago, um, and he died pretty young in my mind. And so that's been weighing on my mind. Like, am I doing stuff at the right time? What if I miss out on all the fun things that I want to do? Um, so my mom's well. My son, he's an adult now, and he's doing really good. And um, he's always encouraged me to to take risks and do do different things, live my life. Um, so uh, we decided to maybe do it sooner. We've told family, we've told friends. It's gone over better than we expected. People are worried about us, but I think they also appreciate that we're gonna do something fun. Uh, like I said, Darren's already resigned from his job and I'm a teacher, so I really wanna finish off the year. Um, it'll be a hard thing. I'm gonna give my notice this week. Um, I will really miss the classroom, the kids. Um, I'm an assistant principal, so I will miss that leadership and the staff and, and families and community. But um, I think I'm ready to take on a new adventure. And I can always come back to it if I want to. Um, so anyway, that's gonna be a tough one. I'll have to document that. Uh, so we um, are gonna sell our house and we're gonna downsize. We have a lot of stuff to get rid of. Uh, we've gotten rid of a lot already and uh, we're going to find some storage for the stuff we just can't get rid of and we have to get a camper ready so we've already gotten some solar panels that are sitting downstairs being ready to install once the weather improves and um, yeah and the last thing that we have to do is we need to get our cats ready
our cats, um, from following different uh, people on YouTube, we've learned that uh, to get these guys used to, we need to kind of climatize them to traveling in a truck and um, being in a camper. So we've got some good tips there that we'll share as we go along. Um, this one, this cat here, she probably won't have too much trouble. She's pretty easy going as long as there's food and a place to get scratches. Um, she's going to be okay. This is Shadow. Shadow is a little more particular about things. She is not a fan of wearing a harness, so we've started harness training her and get, giving her extending time for her to be wearing it. Um, she doesn't handle change well, and um, but she does love being outside more than anything in the world, and I think this would give her a great opportunity. We are going to keep them on a leash. Even at home, we try not to let them be outdoor cats because um, um, we're worried about them getting run over and stuff. But um, but yeah, she's going to get to be an outdoor cat with a harness in her new upcoming life. So why are we doing this? Uh, we are um, excited to have an adventure. We're taking our cats because we adore them and we can't, we don't uh, want to lose them. See how my tongue's sticking out there, Shadow? Uh, we want to escape winter. That just seems so nice to me to imagine being in a desert in January and being warm. Oh, so awesome. Um, and yeah, our families are doing well. Um, my son is doing great. My mom is healthy. Darren's parents are healthy. And um, we're going to miss them a lot. That will be hard. But we'll be back in the summer and spend lots of time with them when Canada is warm and awesome. And uh, maybe do some traveling around Canada in the summer, which will be cool. And um, yeah, and it's just going to be a great journey. So hopefully, um, I can get some of my students to subscribe and um, and uh, yeah, model model some risk taking and some uh, problem solving and adventure and uh, hopefully this video these videos will help people who might want to be nomads and have animals like cats and um, yeah so please subscribe uh, if you like this video please take time to like the video and. Um, Looking forward to sharing our upcoming journey with you.